Hi, I'm Janine from Purple Room Yoga, and I write the blog post, Yoga Living 50 and Beyond. And today I'm going to talk about uh, revolve triangle pose, Parivrita Trikonasana. So this is one of the twisting poses um, that builds off of other poses. Um, and I'd like to start with what you do with your feet, because if you can support the feet, then everything else kind of falls into place. So we're going to start, I'm going to start with the left side. So the left foot is forward, and the foot is facing straight ahead so that the knee and the toes point straight ahead. You can spread the toes. And then the right foot is behind the left foot, and you're lining up the heels. And the right toes are facing to the right about 45 degrees or so. It gives you a nice steady base. And you have equal weight between both feet. You can kind of rock them back and forth a little bit. Ideally, the pelvis is level so that you're not sort of tipping or turning the pelvis. You have a nice flat back, and it can be helpful to have a block to the inside of the left foot. And you can place your hand on the block, and the block can be flat. The block can be up one level or up two levels. If your hamstrings are tight, having the block is helpful because it brings you higher. <clears throat> so you can place your, hand, your right hand on the block, and you find that flat back. And you want to maintain a nice straight spine, a level pelvis, and equal weight between both feet. Feeling the ball of the left big toe pressing into the floor, the outer left hip pulls back slightly. Feel the outer right foot pressing into the floor, engaging both sets of quads so you're not hanging into the knee joint. And then from the flat back, you're gonna rotate the rib cage to the left. And you're gonna spin from the ribs so that you're not <clears throat> moving from the arm. And I'll show you the arm in a moment. So from your flat back, the obliques rotate the ribs without moving the pelvis. Pelvis stays stable, rib cage rotates, and then the arm connects into the back. So a lot of times we think about bringing the arm to the ceiling, but sometimes we lose the pelvis and we lose our connection with the arm into the back. So the pelvis is stable, the rib cage rotates, and the arm goes into the upper back as if you were in warrior two, right? So out to the sides. Keeping the arm connected into the back, spin the left ribs. And so depending on your rib rotation, the arm might not be up toward the ceiling. It might be out on a diagonal somewhere. So the point part, the important parts are the flat back, feeling your feet, and the rib rotation. The arm just comes along for the ride. Breathing in to lengthen the spine. Exhale to twist. And if you can, maybe gaze up at that left thumb. You might want to keep your gaze down toward your right thumb. Breathing in and breathing out. And that's Revolve Triangle Pose. After you do it on the left side, then again, do it on the right side. Thanks so much for watching.